Hi, I'm Pastor Peter from Sweden. I'm standing here in Paestum in southern Italy. Paestum is not a regular name for an Italian town. That's because it used to be a Greek colony 2,500 years ago. The Greeks came here and colonized this part of Italy. And as colonizers tend to do, they brought their own culture and their own religion with them. So behind me, in Italy, you can see a temple built for Poseidon, who was the god of the sea, according to Greek mythology. And further down that way, we can't see it from here, there's a temple to Athena. She was the goddess of war and wisdom and handicrafts. She was a bit of a of all trades. When the Apostle Paul, sent by Jesus Christ himself, visited Athens, about 500 years after this was built, he noticed that there were many temples in Athens, built to many different gods and goddesses. And then he also noticed a very special temple with the strange inscription, to an unknown god. The Greeks despite having all these different gods and goddesses and all these temples, they wanted to cover their bases, so to say. So they built a temple to the god they didn't know. So Paul told them, I come to tell you about this god, the one true god whom you do not know. Well, the situation in Athens back then and the situations today are quite similar. People today may worship gods made of gold, like a golden Buddha statue, or maybe gods that consist of money or fame and fortune. Some people dedicate their lives to creating a better environment for their kids and grandkids and great, great grandkids. Some want to work for peace on earth. And some of these pursuits, or gods, with small g, are very noble and good. But they only last for so long. Even if we can make a big change here on Earth, our time here is fleeting. And what about eternity? All the temples that Paul saw in Athens 2,000 years ago bore witness to this one truth. Mankind has always known there's somebody out there. There's something out there, greater than I. Paul told them, and Paul tells us today, that unknown God doesn't have to be unknown. He already knows you, and he wants you to know him. Don't waste time on gods made by hand or that exist only in our imagination. Don't waste time on worshipping ideas or ideologies, but get to know the one true God who wants you to know Him and be known by Him. Thanks for spending time with me today, and God bless your day. Bye now!